Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sky Pillar Championship Season 2 Week 3 featuring two championship hopefuls, the extremely jacked and tan Mario and the College Station Good Bull gonna be taking on the equally handsome Ryan and the Augusta Agrons. And from what I understand, I am still the stay Supreme King Leader of Champaholics bringing you the action live from Champaholic Stadium. And without further interruption, let's get right into the matchup. And it looks like Ryan is going to commit to this Gorgeis lead as we'll see Mario reciprocate with the Zydog. Pumpkin's going to be able to frisk the choice band on this dog. And it looks like Mario is going to make an early switch into the Eldegoss. Yes. We will see the Eldegoss come out and a big early miss from Ryan and the Agrons as the Poltergeist not able to connect. Mario looks like he wants no part of that. Is going to make another switch in this turn two. The Chandelure not going to be holding an item as Ryan does fire off another Poltergeist. No dice. Mario is going to be setting the stage by firing off on this overheat. Not even a second guess. We will see Ryan and the Agrons withdraw the pumpkin into this Gigalith, and it looks like the sand is gonna go up in this match. Chandler able to connect on the overheat. The damage is gonna be negligible here as we will see the Chandelure go minus two to the special attack. Pick up a little bit of chip from this Sandstorm. It looks like Mario contemplating the switch. Does opt to go for the Bronzong. We will see the switch now. Chandelure back to College Station's locker room as Bronzong does hit the field. Able to shake the Toxic from this Gigalith. Mario flirting with the rocks. No. Committing to this Toxic. As we will see the switch again from Ryan and the Agrons back into the pumpkin. This Toxic does come down. Able to connect on the pumpkin. Gorgai's gonna be taking some heavy attrition damage, both chip from the poison as well as the sandstorm here, as Mario looks like, yes, will make the switch back into the Eldegoss. And this could spell bad news for the Gorgai's as it does fire off the Shadow Sneak Pretty good damage. Oh, and the crit. Was going to end up taking damage not only from the Rocky Helmet, but as well as the Poison and the Sandstorm. Mario perhaps making another switch. Yes, decides to switch the Eldegoss back into this Chandelure. And yes, Ryan with the foresight sees the switch coming, decides to pull the pumpkin back in favor of the Zarud. We will see him hit the field. Not a great matchup for this Zarud. It looks like Mario going to be an easy lock in on this overheat. Zarud wants no part of that, fires off the U turn. It does connect. Ooh, and that is going to be big. The flame body from the Chandelure. Going on to the Zarud, that is going to be a huge nerf to this Zarud's damage as we will see him go back to the Augusta locker room as Gigalith does hit the field just in time for the sand to be put back on the menu. Chandelure with the overheat again. Not a lot of damage on this Gigalith. We will find our heroes in a similar situation. Chandelure going minus two to the special attack. Mario flirting with the switch, yes. Does decide to pull the Chandelure back to the locker room. We will see Bronzong hit the field now. 
as Ryan, yes, sees the switch, makes a withdrawal of his own, as we will see Vaporeon make its game two debut here at Chapaholic Stadium. Leftover's gonna go par with this sand here. As it looks like the Bronzong gonna be engaged on this Stealth Rock this time. As Vaporeon does fire off the wish. Rocks will go down on the Augusta side of the field. How is Ryan gonna stack up? To answer back, Mario possibly looking to make another change does in fact lock into the Chandelure as we will see the Chandelure go out in front of this Vaporeon. Vaporeon does fire off a flip turn. Despite the typing, not a ton of damage coming down as we will see another bless flame body hit this vaporeon vaporeon goes back to augusta's locker room as we will see the pumpkin come back out pumpkin gonna be taking damage from the stones the poison and the sandstorm now that's gonna be a ton of attrition damage but will hardly matter as vaporeon does transfer the wish to the gore guys able to bring it back up to nearly full health The Shadow Sneak does connect, and it's not enough. Chandelure able to hang on with 15 HP, fires off the overheat, ton of damage, and it looks like Mario is going to draw first blood in this matchup. As Pumpkin does go down, Sandstorm off the table, return to sender, and this could be substantial. And it's gonna be up to Ryan to answer back now as we will see Zarud come back out from the Augusta locker room. Gonna be taking some damage from these stones. Mario not wanting any part of that makes the switch back to the Eldegoss. As it looks like the Zarud will fire off the Dankus Lariat. Does have the burn, not a ton of damage. Gonna be taking a lot of attrition from this burn. The Rocky Helmet proc here. As we will see, Ryan does make the switch from the Zarud into the Sylveon. The Pollen Puff does come down. Negligible amount of damage on this Sylveon. Mario opting to make another switch does make the switch from the Eldegoss into the Togekiss. Gonna be inching forward on this position as the track star Sylveon does pass the baton. We will see the Gigalith come back out for Augusta. Taking some chip from the stones here. Sandstorm gonna be put back up for Augusta as the chip does get transferred to this Togekiss. Mario immediately making another switch from this kiss back into the Bronzong. Able to shake yet another Toxic from this Gigalith. And it looks like Mario's gonna be hovering over the body press, yes. And he does lock into this body press. Gigalith retreats as we will see the Vaporeon come back out from Augusta's locker room. The body press does fire off from the good bull side of the field. Not a ton of damage on this Vaporeon. Gonna take some chip from the burn as well as the Sandstorm picking up a little bit of health from these leftovers. Mario perhaps making another switch decides 
to pull the Bronzong in favor of the Togekiss. Ryan fires off another flip turn down range and it does connect onto this Togekiss. Goes back to Augusta's locker room. We will see this Excadrill hit the field now. Some sand still in play. Mario not going to be wasting any time. Decides to pull the Togekiss back to the locker room. As we will see the Eldegoss come out from the Good Bull. Into this Shadow Claw. Pretty good damage here. This Excadrill going to take some damage from the Rocky Helmet as well as this Life Orb. As the Sand does leave the field here. Ryan making the switch from the Excadrill back into the Zarud, taking some damage from the rocks. This is increasingly not a sustainable position for the Agrons to take as the charm does connect onto the Zarud as if the burn wasn't enough. It now goes minus two into the attack. Mario gonna go ahead and withdraw that Eldegoss back into the Zydog. Auras are being broken. Zarud with the U-turn. Hardly any damage considering the burn and the nerf to the attack. Goes back to Augusta's locker room. We will see the Gigalith come back out, bringing it just under half from these stones. We will see the sand come back up for the Agrons. Mario looks like he's going to lock into the thousand arrows will it be enough we do see a berry activate from the agron side of the field as the thousand arrows does fire off onto this gigalith able to hold on but barely as we will see the gigalith reciprocate with an earthquake of its own not enough to take down the zydog thousand arrows again does connect on the Gigalith. That's going to pick it up. As we will see Mario and the College Station Good Bull pick up another KO in this matchup. Ryan going to be thinking about his next step here. As we do see the Excadrill come out, there is no more sand on the table. Ryan trying to get the best mileage he can from this sandstorm as we will see Mario wants no part of that pulls the Zydog back into this Eldegoss another Shadow Claw comes out from the Excadrill and connects takes damage from both the Rocky Helmet and the Life Orb and a little bit of chip damage onto this Eldegoss Extra drill hammering down on this iron head. No flinch, and it will not be enough. The charm does go down on this extra drill. Gonna lower this extra drill's attack harshly as we do see the sand leave the field for the Agrons now, leaving the extra drill out to dry. Mario flirting with another switch. Decides, yep, pulls the Eldegoss back in favor of this Bronzong. Going to take a Shadow Claw from this Excadrill. Decent amount of damage. And we will see Excadrill take a little bit from the Life Orb. Bronzong able to shake a little bit of damage with that Leftovers. And it looks like he's going to be hovering over the body press. Yes, does lock into the body press. Ryan making the switch from the Excadrill back into this Vaporeon. 
And yes, the body press does connect. Not a lot of damage on this Vaporeon, as we will see it able to go par with its burn here due to the leftovers. Both players eager to win this matchup, but it does appear without the sand. The walls may be closing in on Ryan on the Agrons here. As Mario and the Bulls make the switch from this Bronzong back into this Togekiss. As Vaporeon does become committed into this wish here. Champaholics. It looks like the Bulls and this Togekiss are gonna reciprocate with a wish of their own. Vaporeon gonna flip turn out of there. Likely gonna pass this wish on to the Excadrill. Yes, we will see the Excadrill come back out from Augusta's locker room. No Sandstorm. Does get the wish though. Brings it back into the green. Mario and Togekiss hovering over this baton pass. We've got a lot of track stars in this week two matchup. Yes, fires off the baton pass. Excadrill opting to go for the sword stance. As the baton is passed. Side Dog does come back out for Mario and the Bulls. No Sandstorm. This Excadrill is going to want none of that. Ryan pulls the Excadrill out in favor of this Sylveon. Does take some damage from the stones. Thousand Arrows does fire off. And a critical hit. Able to take down this Sylveon. Not sure if the crit mattered, but the Sylveon not able to shake the damage from this banded thousand arrows as we will see Ryan send the Zerud back out from the Augusta locker room. Locks into this Dankus Lariat. Not gonna have a ton of effects here due to this burn as the thousand arrows. Not enough to pick up the Zerud. Burn going to be yes and the Zerud is going to fall to its own burn as we will see Vaporeon come back out from the Augusta locker room Mario just clicking the buttons at this point the thousand arrows does go down range and that is it picks up the Vaporeon Champaholics Ryan and the Agrons have no choice. The Excadrill does come back out, and this looks like it is going to be plenty. As Mario and the College Station Good Bull take a decisive victory over Ryan and the Augusta Agrons in this matchup of Sky Pillar Championship, and what a very commanding victory for College Station against a very tough opponent like Ryan and the Agrons. Join me next week. As always, I am the Stank Champaholics. <laughs>